Hang on. So here are the eyes in the darkness. This is my Scary Eyes project. The concept here is to control pairs of eyes that will look like little monster eyes or something in the darkness. And what I wanted to do is test for ambient light levels so when it got dark enough, it would turn on the lights. So for to do that, I used a photoresistor, an LDR, so when it gets dark enough, the LED lights will turn on. So to do that, I'm going to cover up the LDR with this little cap. So now you can see that the eyes are blinking. Uh, I'm doing it really fast here just to show that the lights are turning on and off. Let me describe the various functions of these potentiometers. The first potentiometer will adjust at what darkness level the LEDs will all turn on. The middle one will adjust the brightness of the eyes. So I'll make them extra bright just for the video here. Because normally I would rather have them be a bit on the dimmer side, like you would see um, in animals' eyes in the weeds, a little bit on the dimmer side, because their eyes are only reflecting the natural ambient light. The third potentiometer will adjust when the blink will happen. I made the time off speed 300 or 400 microseconds, which is about the length of an average blink. So, you know, animals and people don't blink this often. So you adjust the third potentiometer to increase the time in between blinks. Right now I'm going to adjust the blinks to be on the more frequent end, because I would imagine it's kind of boring to sit there and wait 30 seconds for <laughs> a blink at the other end of the spectrum, but let's do that. So this might be a little bit closer to a more natural blink frequency. So right now, this does not look very scary. However, when you turn off the lights, it might get a little bit freakier. For this project, my original concept would be to string hundreds of pairs of uh, eyes. Currently, currently, I'm running this off of an external 9-volt switching power supply off of uh, right here, going back to the Arduino itself, and then power then is regulated down and sent to the LEDs. But you can run this entire system off of the USB 5 volt connection too. There's, there is a couple caveats about that. The source you use dictates how many LEDs you could drive directly off of every Arduino pin. Calculating it out, it's roughly, you could theoretically power 10 pairs of eyes, with a 5 volt power supply. However, if you do power it off, off of the Arduino directly, get a larger external power supply and and connect it to the power in pins on, on the Arduino. Alternatively, of course, you can build your own external LED driver circuit using a couple transistors or, or some MOSFETs or something. But for this particular project, personally, I think just having a single Arduino Nano with uh, with just a handful of eyes, then you can take this entire assembly. As you can see, it's it's pretty unwieldy, uh, just with uh, three pairs of eyes. So you could just take this complete circuit and just you know drop it wherever you want to put your effect or something. Anything more than that, you're pretty much carrying a string of Christmas lights. Anyways, here it is, another simple Halloween effect. 